Well, Rob, do you think that that next great iPhone photo potentially uh, could be coming a few years in the South Loop? I mean, I've I think I, I've seen you know just based on the renderings, it could be a transformative move for the White Sox. <laughs> and I say this as somebody who lived in Bridgeport, who really. I don't have many problems with guaranteed rate field to the degree that some other people do. And I think it's kind of, it's a ballpark that's unfairly maligned in my estimation. I mean, it's, there's, it's the result of kind of a toxic process that led to that ballpark being built in the first place. And then followed by the fact that the next year, uh, Camden yards opens and all of a sudden you see what new ballparks can be. You can embrace the past. And, and suddenly the, the ballpark just turned into a big blue white elephant. But, you know, I've spent a lot of time there uh, when, <laughs> uh, when I was a lot younger and before kids. And when I lived in the neighborhood, I was going to maybe 25 or 26 games a year. So mm-hmm. I, I knew the ins and outs and it's, it's a great place to take in a game. But I've also been to PNC Park in Pittsburgh. And if you could build a ballpark near downtown uh, that gives you an incredible vista of the the Chicago skyline. All of a sudden, you've gone from a, a, a ballpark with only a face a mother could love to a, a real national showcase. So this could be something uh, that, you know, uh, pun intended, it could be a game changer for the franchise. Uh, the question is, can you make the financials work? And uh, based on what we saw from Crane Chicago Business, uh, asking the state of Illinois uh, to fork over a billion dollars for a ballpark on the south side of Chicago at a time when the uh, COVID money is running out is a really tall ask. And I think that that plan, if that's the the starting marker, is probably going to be rejected. And so they'll have to find some sort of plan B to, uh, to finance this ballpark. Especially because it feels like the Bears and the White Sox are arriving at the same time for this money. Well, that's, I mean, I think that's, there's a little bit of gamesmanship going on. Um, That proposal was more or less designed to uh, box the Bears out. Uh, It was just by saying like, look, we'll retire the bonds uh, from the renovation of Soldier Field in 2003, which will then leave the Bears free to, pursue opportunities in the suburbs and build the, the the stadium in Arlington Heights on the Arlington uh, Park racetrack property. It was more or less designed to head off a competition for Illinois Sports Facilities Authority uh, tax revenue uh, so that the Bears and the White Sox weren't fighting over each other. This is basically Jerry Reinsdorf planting his flag and saying, nope, this is ours. <laughs> 